uh, your film releasing on an OTT platform, which is fantastic. The films that come from Sikkim of a northeast, particularly, are never considered to be uh, even indie. Surprisingly, you know, they're even like I don't know if there's a separate category for that because they're so uh, you know they they are or very very few are recognized and as and sort of even acknowledged and. I think that itself is fabulous that this now we all over the world people will get to see this. Yeah, I mean, I have always again, you know, being I mean, obviously Lynn is from there, but I mean, because I've had many friends over the years who are from the northeast and again, you know, when we talk about the northeast, it's not a homogeneous entity. You know, there's a huge difference culturally in terms of language topography, behavioral pattern, temperament, food, everything is different. You know, it's literally like how up and west bengal are different uh, yeah. so it's not like you know people from manipur and mizoram or nagaland and sikkim have the same sort of culture and you know habits right they are yeah. different That's entities awesome. and within the states you have so many different sort of tribes and you know uh, dialects and all of that and it's it's a very complex um, structure so um, even when a, a writer picked up a story from northeast uh, you know they did not cast a northeastner which was injustice i felt like you know i understand the whole business point of it and all of it but it is so unfair that uh, we i mean a, a manipuri girl did not get a chance it, it doesn't have to be me but somebody who should be playing that part was not given a mm-hmm. chance uh you know it's like uh, you're making a sachin tendulkar uh, biopic and uh, brad pitt has been played <laughs> by <sorry>. <laughs> brad pitt has been cast you know so it's really unfair yeah. we are obviously talking about mary com here there was an entire conversation about for some people it was extremely uncomfortable to watch uh, you know uh, the mm. biopic uh, in that way the conversation did arise because they felt like where is the northeastern representation here and this was that moment it yeah right you know i i honestly think and i mean obviously lynn and i have spoken about this and we have spoken about this and i know that's what lynn is saying that it's a business decision right when you have to mount a film mm. which is that big uh yeah, right. you have to you have to take a star because if you took somebody and i mean somebody who's from there but probably a great actor it wouldn't you know have the kind of opening and you know ultimately films big films i mean films are a business you know uh i mean it it's it's a huge business right and there are lots of people's livelihoods which are dependent on films so i understand that but then an effort should have been made the right. the unfortunate part is that the actor playing the character looked nothing like the character you know so then some effort should have been made to do prosthetics to make that uh, you know that i mean how much of suspension of disbelief can you have uh for example i am not a nepali but i'm playing a nepali and there is no harm in playing that if you look the part if you look the part then half the battle is won right because i do look nepali or that's i do look that's what casting people. that's why uh, cast people do casting no, right don't, yeah and it's not necessarily that you critical decisions but at least make the effort to make her look like the person you know don't be like oh kuch bhi karke chal jayega you know ye chal jayega attitude i feel comes from a place where you don't care about authenticity enough you know and yeah. that's a problem that's been a problem and and having said that i know for a fact that i might get a lot of flack also because you know people might be uh, saying why didn't you cast an orthi i mean a real nepali to you know for upasana's part and uh, the fact is that i had audition for the part and there were other people who were nepalis or people from you know mm. uh, actors from the northeast uh who had also auditioned and i happened to get the part so uh you know i i had you to like it's not like process. you know for whatever reason i mean it's ultimately a director's prerogative but again having said that i don't think twice and none of us would think twice if i had to play a gujarati or you know play somebody like gora from article 15 or champa from parts it's the same thing but as long as you make an effort to fit into that milieu or uh ethnicity if we are talking about it you know in my case i think the the good the positive was that i look you know that i i am from the northeast you know i look assamese or i look i get it all the time like when i say i have nothing to do with the northeast people are like no 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 kuch to hoga you know uh in fact uh, when i told vinay pathak that oh i'm doing the film he's like are chalo finally somebody's cast you right you know it's a filmmaker's take honestly that how authentically 
do you want to make an authentic honest film or do you want to make a big film about a big personality so mm. that's that's the difference yeah. i think watch e town news monday to friday at 9:30 pm only on zoom